Hi, I'm Chris Davis, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the new floppy drive expansion kit for the Altair Duino. Uh, you can see the case very closely matches the Altair Duino Pro case. Uh, I'm going to be given the demonstration using the Altair Duino Experimenter just because the open case is much more friendly to uh, inserting and removing expansion cards. Uh, I do want to say that David Hansel has done a fantastic job with not only the uh, the Altair emulator here, but also with the expansion and the cards he has designed for this. Just outstanding work. And one of my favorites is the disc controller card. Uh, it's really quite amazing. Zoom in on it here. Uh, you can see there's quite a few components on there. One is an Atmel processor microcontroller here, which um, allows you to uh, use both the MITS disk format and the ICOM format. Uh, you can connect to a genuine Seagate 8-inch floppy drive uh, that I have not been able to secure yet, so I'm using a 5 and a quarter inch drive. And it uh, uses a high-density 1.2 megabyte drive, uh, but to the Altair, it believes it's an 8-inch drive. So very... Uh, very cool thing that David has designed here. You see I've got a, a USB connection on here. Uh, there are some debug tools and some tools for copying drive images to a floppy and vice versa. You can go from floppy to drive image. Uh, that's very handy. You'll want to be using that. I'll have another video that explains that. But for now, we're going to connect this uh, to the Altair Duino Experimenter. Um, this kit comes with all the components you need to build the controller card and also the acrylic parts that you're going to need to put together the drive case. What you will need to get is your own TIAC floppy drive. Uh, you'll also need to get a power supply and a few other minor components, but you can read about that on my website. So uh, let's go ahead and connect this. Um, I've got the floppy drive cable connected to the drive case and I'm just going to plug that into the controller card here and then I'm going to insert this into my back plane. I've got a few other cards in there you can see I've got a voice synthesizer card, a serial card, a cassette interface card. Those cards are a lot of fun to play with. Um, I do have an SD card in here but only to load the default configuration when I power it up. Uh, otherwise it's really the the SD card in my example now is not going to be used so uh, let's turn this on I've got the default configurations oh I need to plug it in uh, one thing I've done is uh, since this has a the drive case has a 5 volt and 12 volt power supply I've hooked up a barrel connector to the 12 volt power supply to uh, provide power to the Altair Duino that way everything is plugged into one electrical outlet and I don't need to have a second wall wart to power this up. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, I've got it configured to connect to Wi-Fi so I can use Telnet. Uh, and I'm going to do that here with my laptop. Uh, I think what I want to do is I'm going to close this session. Um, can I reconnect this other session? Um, no, I'm just going to go with a new session here. All right. Now, I'll just go full screen with it. All right. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit for you. I'm going to uh, just, with all the switches down, going to hit aux 1 down, then you can just see that I am connected to the Wi-Fi Telnet session right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise uh, switch number four here. Um, actually, it's SW3 I'm raising um, because on the screen you can see that uh, in in binary one zero 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 is the disk boot ROM. Uh, so I am going to put in a disk in my floppy drive. I've got the CPM version 2.2 MITS here on this floppy. Put that in the drive and close the door. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and lower aux 1 uh, which should load the disk boot ROM and I don't I don't know if you can hear it but the drive is spinning and it is loading uh, CPM version 2.2 we can see it right there on the screen if I hit DIR the drive starts spinning again and it gives me the directory so there we go we are running our Altair Duino off a floppy drive it's not loading anything off any disk images on the uh, on the SD card uh, everything is coming from the floppy and it's really quite amazing it is really kind of uh, I don't know added to to the vintage experience uh, I've got a few other disks here I've got Altair disk basic also have um, CPM with several Infocom adventures on it here's Altair DOS version 1.0 it's it's a lot of fun running those and uh, just experiencing that floppy disk uh you know experience i i think i got my first hard drive in about 1990 and i was so happy to be able to use a, a hard drive instead of a floppy and i you know back in 1990 we could hardly imagine being able to load from some solid state device like an sd card and now we're tired of the SD card. I want to move back to the floppy drive, which really adds a lot of fun to it. Uh, I did. You, you really can't find boxes of these uh, discs at Walmart anymore or office supply stores. I don't know. Maybe you can. But I bought these on eBay. Uh, it's a value pack of 20. I think it was about 10 or $15. This is probably a, a lifetime supply of discs for me right now. So there you go. There's an overview of using a floppy drive with the Altair Duino. Uh, I'll do another video a little bit later and show you some of the debug tools that David has added to this that really, really help, you know, especially in making the uh, physical floppies from the disk images that we have available for the kit. Um, so there you go. Um, if you're interested in adding this to your Altair Duino, uh, go ahead and look at my website. And thanks for watching.